Hi guys, I'm Whitetip Gamer, and today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the recent news regarding Jurassic World 3. Now, it announced yesterday, Colin Trevorrow posted a lovely little picture of first day shooting and announced basically the title of the film, which, as you can imagine, everybody in the Jurassic community was absolutely buzzing for it. And we now know, probably 99% certain, that the final possibly final Jurassic World movie will be Jurassic World Dominion. A bit different from what we imagined because we all assumed after, again on Twitter, it was going to be called Jurassic World New Era, which, which was basically what everyone thought after somebody put out basically what everyone, somebody asked on Twitter what people thought the new film was going to be and then Colin said that someone's got it right and everybody just assumed that it was going to be a New Era. Um, which I, I was slightly disappointed by to be honest, it was a bit bland, it was a little bit I don't know, it just it didn't grab me all, this is this is different, this is well if I talk through the actual definition of Dominion, if I go on thesaurus.com, or well, it's dictionary.com the definition of Dominion is the power or right of governing and controlling uh, rule, control, domination, a territory usually of considerable size in which a single rulership holds sway. So basically it's about domination of an area in fact. So is this going to basically be, in not too many words, it's not going to be a literal battle, but it's going to be like a battle of control of the planet between the dinosaurs and humanity. I think that's what the basic is going to be. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to throw out any theories at the moment because at the moment I really don't have any idea what the basic of the, what, what's going to happen in this movie. I have no idea. But what we can tell from the photo as well, if we look, it's snowing in the background. So that's going to have a little bit of a, a different feel to it because we're not just going to be stuck in somewhere a bit tropical as in the islands. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of variety in landscapes, which is going to be different. Um, because obviously now dinosaurs are worldwide and not just restricted to one area of the planet. So that's going to add a bit of variety to the, the movie. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to throw any theories out there at the moment. I'm still trying to work out what's going on myself. It's going to be interesting. And as, as I said before, everybody in the domestic community is so excited for this. And it's finally, finally happened. But in the meantime, we have got Camp Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous coming up in a couple of months on Netflix, which is going to be interesting again. I think this is going to be classed as law in the franchise as well. So it's going to be what happened during Jurassic World and slightly after, I believe. I think that's what the consensus is. I'm going to follow a group of kids and their kind of survival and experiences throughout the island on that occasion. So we've got that to look forward to in a couple of months on Netflix. This is going to fuel the fire to probably the hype for the new movie coming out but i'm willing to accept that that's fine in the meantime i think we recently got was it last week yeah the last week that we got tweeted out the picture of the new baby in a pseudoceratops animatronic which i think is really really cool and again to what we believe is going to be more animatronics and animatronics let's say it right animatronics in the film which is what everybody's been shouting out for and I think we're going to get that. Maybe some full-size adult animatronics as well, which would be super cool. Like, I'd love to see a proper full-size T-Rex again, like in the original trilogy. I think that would be epic. Um, but there's also a couple of things in the background which you can point out to. There's something with a, a longish neck in the corner, which could be something new, possibly. i say that in inverted commas, because we can't quite see it. It's, it's so blurry. They've blurred it out the background. So we can't see any surprises in it. But could it be a new uh, theropod dinosaur? Maybe a Therizino? Something like that. That would be really cool to add that into the uh, Jurassic franchise. But basically, that's it. And I say that's it, but it's there's a lot of time to take in at the moment in the Jurassic franchise with the new movie shooting. Literally just started shooting this week. And there's so much, so much to look forward to. And that's it, basically. <laughs> um, I hope you're excited as I am. So if you are, leave a like if you're excited for Jurassic World Dominion. And um, we've only got a couple more months to wait until our next batch of Jurassic action with Camp 
Cretaceous, I'll say it right this time. And then in just over a year's time, we get to see the new movie. But anyway, guys, thank you for everyone watching. Leave a like, like I said, if you're excited for the new movie. Leave me some comments and let me know what your thoughts. If you've got any theories about what the film is going to be about, then leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on new Jurassic news coming up and other Jurassic stuff on the channel. So, once again, I'm White Up Gamer, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye!